So once again, we're working on an optimization problem from calculus. This is number 22 in our textbook. And uh, it, is state, it states, a window is in the form of a rectangle surmounted by a semicircle. The rectangle is of clear glass, whereas the semicircle is of tinted, tinted glass that transmits only half as much light per unit area as the clear glass does. The total perimeter is fixed. Find the proportions of the window that will admit the most light. Neglect the thickness of the frame. As you can see, I've tried to draw this. And uh, I've indicated with the green that this upper window here only emits half the light uh, that the bottom one does, the clear glass. And I've also taken the liberty of labeling some variables here so you can kind of get the idea of what we're dealing with. The first thing they tell us is that the perimeter is fixed. So let's go ahead and try and get an expression for the perimeter. Now the perimeter is not actually what we want to optimize. Obviously it's fixed, so we can't do that. But I think you'll agree that the perimeter of the semicircle, which would be around here, is half of 2 pi r, which would be just pi r. And then continuing around the window, we have two w's and two other r's. So that would be plus 2r plus 2w. The reason we need that equation is we're going to use it to eliminate one of the variables. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and solve for w right now. Uh, I think you'll see with a little bit of algebra that w would equal p, which is constant, minus pi r, minus 2r, all divided by 2. Okay. Now let's go ahead and just keep that handy, and I'll square it off in a little red box here. That's what we're going to use to uh, eliminate one of our variables, in this case, w. Now, we still need to figure out what we're going to optimize. As it turns out, we need to optimize the area. Actually, the light that's emitted by the area. And so our light is basically made up of two parts. Half of the area of the semicircle. And so that's going to be half of half of pi r squared. Plus the area of the square, which is 2rw. OK. Quick little simplification here. I get 1 fourth pi r squared plus 2rw. I'm going to scroll this up a little bit so my handwriting can be a little uh, clearer. At this point, I need to go ahead and eliminate that w. So believe it or not, we're going to plug in that expression that we already found up there at the top. That means that our light is now 1 fourth pi r squared plus 2r times our expression for w, which was p minus pi r minus 2r over 2. Lucky for us, that 2 is going to cancel with this 2. And so this expression does simplify a little bit. We end up with 1 fourth pi r squared plus I'm going to distribute the r and cancel the twos. pr minus pi r squared minus 2r squared. OK? This is still L. To optimize the light, we're going to go ahead and uh, take the derivative, L prime. And we'll just use our power rule here. Bring the 2 down, that's a 1 half pi r. Derivative of pr is just p, remember p is a constant, minus 2 pi r 
minus 4r. And I'm going to do a little bit of simplification here. I'm going to collect my r terms. And what I end up with is p plus 1 half pi minus 2 pi minus 4 times r. And I think you'll notice that uh, I can turn this into a negative 3 halves pi. Okay, that little part right there. And when I do a little algebra and solve for r, here's what I end up with. I end up with negative p over negative 3 pi over 2 minus 4. Multiplying everything by negative 1 and then canceling, uh, that gives me p over 3 pi over 2 minus 4. And just to clean up that uh, fraction in the denominator, I'm going to multiply everything by 2. That gives me 2p over 3 pi minus 4. Uh, excuse me. That should be a plus right there. And this should be plus 8 when I multiply by 2. That sounds better. Okay. So our critical point is at 2p over 3 pi plus 8. Now, going back up to the problem, it says find the proportions of the window that will emit the most light. So for proportions, what I need to do is length over width. In this case, that's going to be... Uh, 2r over w, right? L over w would be 2r over w. Well, 2r is just going to be double that quantity that we just found, so I'm going to put 4p over 3 pi plus 8. And w, we found way up top, was p minus pi r minus 2r over 2. Beautiful. After quite a bit of simplification, uh, I can first get that 2 out of there on the bottom and make the numerator 8p over 3 pi plus 8 over p minus pi times r. And remember, we have r. r is 2p over 3 pi plus 8. minus 2r, which is also 2p. Oh, excuse me. I don't want an r in there. I'm trying to get rid of r. Let's do this. Two p over three pi plus eight. Now the good news is you can see 3 pi plus 8 shows up in almost every fraction. And in fact, what I can do is I can just multiply this thing by 3 pi plus 8 over 3 pi plus 8. And then cancel that out. And I do a little simplification. And believe it or not, oh, also they all have a p, so the, we're going to cancel the p's. And when you do that, you end up with 8 over pi plus 4. And so that's the proportion of the, uh, th that's the proportions of the window when you, when you uh, set that ratio equal to each other, or when you make that fraction. Hopefully you know what I mean, because I don't think I said it very well. And so that's the answer that we're looking for in that problem.